Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Steve Basinger Fishing. We're here on another day on Lake of the Ozarks uh, because this is my favorite lake that's cl somewhat close by my house. Not really that close, but sort of close. Uh, it's March 16th. We're here for a little bit of, I would call it early spring, certainly pre spawned bass fishing. You know what? That's somewhat a lie. I brought a crappie rod in case I'm feeling a little frisky because I do kind of miss some crappie fishing, but we'll see if we do that. Anyways, I don't really know what's going on on the lake. I haven't been here in a while. I haven't really talked to anybody that's uh, really told me much about it. I, I pay attention to some uh, some reports. You know, if, if you fish this lake, you've probably watched YouTube of Casey Scanlon and his fishing reports. Dude puts out some good fishing reports, but they also don't really tell you a lot. I love Casey, but he's really good at telling you everything and nothing all at the same time, like, like a true pro. Uh, I'm thinking maybe maybe some jerk bait. I mean, it's like an Ozark, so probably a jerk bait. Uh, and I'm hoping to crank, uh, catch some cranking too. I really don't know what water temps are. I'm gonna guess probably low 50s, maybe mid 50s, which would be some real good cranking temps. So let's get after it, see what we can do. little spot <laughs> right here at the boat don't you hook me you're gonna try to I know it there's a little guy <laughs> with all these docks on this lake you know it's kind of hard to get right up parallel to the bank in a lot of places but I just uh, was busy uh, getting unhung on this dock over here because I made a really stupid cast with a jerkbait. So I just got that undone, retied, and then uh, I was like, well, you know what? Since I'm here, let's try, let's try a little cast over there. Oh. Off the slide. It's just a little guy, but I was throwing a crankbait up there before that, and I felt a little, I got, a little bush that I got stuck in for a little bit, and that was like a shallower one. That was probably like 10 feet of water or less. Oh, it came off. Well, finally got another bite. Oh, about to fall down. So we finally got another bite. And it's probably been 30 minutes or so. Uh, I mean, I got my first bite, like first couple casts, and now I've made it kind of one pocket over. And I'm on a a point small pocket to my right and there's a good channel swing on this point like just the cast length off the bank i'm in 25 feet of water and i'm fishing down the side of this dock i threw a jig at it first and i felt some brush so now i threw i'm throwing this jerk bait which is a berkeley stunna uh and it's a plus one model so i thought if i could bring it down kind of slow maybe i could get one to react to it and I had I'm, I've had to fish that real slow like that was that one was set and still and he came up and got it see if there's any others with it it wasn't a very big one that was probably got to be 15 inches to keep here I don't think that was a keeper
goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a great, great big one. Stay on down. Oh my. And he's got it swallowed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That will work. Look at that. Well, I was hoping I'd get them cranking, and by golly, I did. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get a weight on her. Hopefully, you guys can see this. 4.67 pounds. Hopefully, you can see that. Uh, I'll take that every freaking day. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. We'll go ahead and let her go. If I can do this without falling in the boat. There she goes. Well, that'll work. That came on the Spro Rock Crawler. And this is the first stretch of bank that I've been on where there's not docks every 10, 15 yards. And it's a point, right? We're still in the same creek arm that we started in. Well, obviously we started way up that way. But I've been coming down this bank and we got to where the rock is a little bit different. I've got this somewhat ledgy type rock. It doesn't drop off, I mean, I'm in 10 feet of water. It doesn't drop off like real fast, at least not for this lake. Now we have some wind coming on it. That wasn't like that a little while ago. Uh, but I was coming around this bank and I was actually coming this way. And about where we're sitting is where that fish bit. Uh, I was just trying to cover water, but I did want to fish this kind of thoroughly because it's different from everything else that I've seen. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, right before I set the hook on that fish, I noticed what I think was the same turtle kind of coming up and I, coming up to the top of the water. I hadn't seen any turtles anywhere, but it just made me think like there's a little bit of life here that I haven't seen everywhere else. I wonder if there's not fish here. And then, I mean, immediately, I should have said that out loud. That sound, made me sound like a genius. There's a little bit better one too. Well, no, he's not that good. But real shallow, I mean, right up there on the bank too, right there. I mean, that's not anything that's gonna keep or you're gonna get excited about, but two bites and like five casts. A decent one. I don't think it is. I think it's another little one. Yep, it is. I think it's another. Well, I mean, it's actually, I think it's an okay spot. Nope, and it's not a spot. It's just a little old largemouth. Little old large mouth. But once again, on a rocky point, so that big one I caught was right there. It was right over there on the other side. And you can, well, you can't see it from here, but 
you got chunky rock that looks exactly like this. Drops off probably about the same. And this is right on the bend of the point. Like it just bends around right here. I thought I was stuck on moss or something with that one. It's two off that point. Neither one of them are any size to them, but that's two. Another one. Yeah, that's another little one that's hooked funny. Well, the little ones are certainly biting today. Stop it. Maybe better? Or he's just hooked in the side again. Axe heavy. Nope, not heavy. Just a little hook funny. Just like all the other ones. That's like three, four fish off this one point. I think eventually you'd come across another good one. All right, so I think we're maybe on to a little something. Again, we're not, we've only caught the one big one, but we're getting a lot of bites fishing like chunk rock points, and hopefully I can get the wind on it. Uh, the wind's blowing in here a little bit. It's not real strong, but uh, it may be enough. We're coming up on another little point. We just left the one that we caught like, I don't know, five or six off of, I have no idea. Uh, we're gonna fish this one and see if we can kind of keep proving this going further back in the creek. Just like clockwork. I'm gonna need you to calm down, fish. I mean, you can just throw it right up there, right on the bank. Reel it down, kill it, and we'll see. Five twitches, maybe? One, two. Three, four, five. Two, well, okay, maybe not five. Nope, eight. <laughs> this is a decent spot this time. Eight twitches. I mean, they're right on the bank. Right on the bank. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about where we've been, where we're at, and where we're going. So we started this morning uh, 
fishing fish in a creek arm that was one that runs like north and south. Uh, typically, your your like your northern facing pockets they they warm up faster. So I was good. It's spring. I'm looking for warmer water. Uh, we bounced around a, just a, a tiny bit until we started we started catching fish and we caught a couple dinks. But then we caught the big one, right? When that one came on a spro rock crawler, it wasn't this color. It was actually a I don't know like a brown, but not it wasn't translucent like this one is. I have no idea what this one what color this is, but uh, I chose that that solid color because it was low light. And it was cloudy. Uh, the suns came out now. It's it's very clear water here. It was clear water where I caught the fish at too, where I caught the big one at. Um, but I like the translucence now. <clears throat> then we kind of bounced around and started looking for stuff just like that. That fish came on a kind of a not chunk rock. I, I don't really know what you'd call that. Sort of chunk rock. It was more kind of like shelf rock a little bit. So we kind of bounced around looking for stuff like that. And I never really found a place like that that looked exactly the same, but I did catch them on other little secondary points. Sometimes they had a little bit of wind on them, sometimes they didn't, but they still dropped off pretty quick. And a bunch of them I caught on this. This is a Jackal Rerange jerkbait. It's just the regular, not the medium runner. It's just the normal one. Uh, that's like a pro blue, like translucent pro blue. Uh, this is really kind of turned into my favorite probably my favorite jerk bait it just casts so freaking well uh, it's got a very good weight transfer system in it like when you when you sling this thing out there and that weight transfer comes to the back it sounds like you just crack the bait in half it's so loud but it catches them really well uh, we kind of figured something out there in in that creek arm and kind of figured some things out I mean I, I, there were some times where I caught two or three fish uh, in consecutive casts after that, we ran a little further up the up the creek. We left that creek, that small pocket creek arm, what have you, ran out into the main creek channel and ran up the creek, more towards where the creek comes in. And the thing that changed pretty much as soon as I caught that big fish is wind. We got wind. When that wind came in, I, I don't know if that's negatively effect, affected fish or not, but we we did start catching those little ones. We left that creek arm, or that small creek arm, ran further up the creek. Uh, and then that's when I realized how windy it was because I'm battling waves out there. Uh, I did find warmer water. I've, I've been fishing like 53 to 54 where I was really catching them. I found 56 to 57 up there. Water was dirtier, but I didn't get a single bite up there. Uh, so I came back out of there and hit a, hit a few other places that just maybe looked right looked similar on the way with nothing whether they were like main like kind of main lake points i did some secondary points but i looked on the map and i went and found another uh pocket slash creek arm that was north facing again just like the one we started in and that's where we're at now i ran into this creek arm and you know what we have had a couple bites i think i caught one little little dinker that i'm going to say these aren't going to show up on this video uh, because there really nothing happened in here. What we're going to do now is we're going to run back to where we started and what I want to know is are those fish still biting uh, or did I run to places where the fish just aren't really active? I, I don't know but if we get over there and they're not biting that'll tell me well you know the sun I don't know the sun got too high they don't like the way the wind is what have you i don't know something's going on and they're not really liking it where i'm at now they're definitely not having it there's one still not a very big one nope Man, they're just like not getting it right most of the time. There's another one just hooked in the side. Oh. Well. Nice to know there's still fish on this bank though. Better. Damn near lost. 
last thing. I can't believe one big fish and then a bunch of little guys like that. I don't know if that's ever happened to me before. Well, folks, that's going to be it for today. Uh, fishing definitely got worse. I'm glad we got on them when we did. I even came back to these, these same areas where we caught them this morning. And I did get a couple of bites, but one, I did not get very many bites. And then two, pretty much all of them mostly just slapped at it. It was all on the jerk bait. I couldn't get a bite on anything else. Uh, and then I even picked up uh, a drop shot at the end of it just to see in those same areas if maybe they're just negative, you know, negative mood. And I could get them to bite that way, and I still didn't get a bite that way. So either they're just straight up not biting, or they did kind of move out. Be kind of surprised if they moved. But in my experience on this lake, that doesn't really happen like in a day. But maybe. I don't know. I'm no pro here. I don't know. I just catch fish sometimes. So anyways, hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you did, like, subscribe. And yeah, until the next time, we'll see you guys on the water.